Hey, sweetie. Yeah. Hey, guys. So today is Thursday, and it's about 1 o'clock. But uh, look at that little spider on the ceiling. Um, just got done at the DMV uh, getting the canoe registered. And I thought I would tell you guys about the process so that if you wanted to go out and do it, um, you definitely could. So I just did, um, I got a couple of the facts on here. Um, first of all, you're going to need a statement of facts. You can go to the DMV and they will give you one. Um, it costs $21.50 to do. And you need length, brand, um, year if possible, and any any numbers on there. So... Um, when I bought this canoe many years ago, uh, many years ago, I'm thinking actually 10 or more, uh, I bought it, uh, it didn't have a title, didn't have any sort of paperwork that came with it. It was just, um, for waterfowl. So it was just a duck hunting boat. And here in Minnesota, if you use your canoe just for duck hunting, you don't need it to be registered, um, yearly. You can just use it. And... Talking to Sam last night, and I told her, I want to go fishing with you. I said, would you like to go fishing in the canoe? And she said, I would love to. So, I have to get it um, registered. So, I just called them, asked them what they would need. So, I, we got the VIN number, which was on there. Um, through a little bit of research, uh, I think it's 1977, Aquatech. Made in Hugo, Minnesota, but if you look up Aquatech in Hugo, Minnesota... It's like irrigation and stuff for farming. It's a Model 17. But anyways, so they give you these stickers. Um, they do look up the VIN to see if it's stolen or nothing, which I expected. And if it was stolen, I wouldn't have had an issue with it. I would gladly give it back to the owner because that's not good. But anyways, it's every three years. Um, yeah, and then they got all this information on here. So, yeah. Anyways, there you go. So now I just have to stick these on there, and I'll be good to go. And uh, I can take out my canoe now and go fishing, so I'm not just stuck with the kayak. Um, fishing on the kayak is great, but the canoe is a little, a little bit better. The kayak is nice because it's light and easy, but the canoe you can stretch out and actually be comfortable. I could see myself fishing out of the canoe all day, but I can't see myself fishing out of the kayak all day. And I can bring my soon-to-be wife out there. So how exciting is that? Got it all taken care of. But anyways, yeah. So if you have a boat that you need to register, it's it's almost seems impossible, but it's really an easy process. It took me under an hour at the D DMV, which uh, if you guys have been to a DMV, you know that that's a painstaking place. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.